resume. Last I left off, finished up a vicar commanding quest, apparently. Um, Need to do. You think corporate's ever gonna visit? I'm not allowed in here. Not since the vending machine incident. Holcomb, got my eye on you, girl. I do like how the companions actually. What happens if I go through? Hey, that's impressive. Hey, I. What do you what think, do you think you're doing? I'll look the other way. This time. Reputation D. Right. Just curious to see what things do. So, how in the world would I have around? Way around the back? That's much. Hmm. Barber shop. Hmm. Oh, I can use my own hair. But Conrad sells real good disinfectant. I have something to say about everybody. Huh? What can I do for you? Go ahead. Yeah. Me. La 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 la. I'm just a rotten. I don't want any trouble. trouble. Esther's, Esther's got medication? medication? How? Did the, Did the boss, boss get a get new shipment? No, I'm sorry, sorry, it's just I thought Why we couldn't spare the medicine. medicine. Nope, nope, I'm sorry. I can't accept help from Esther. If I deserved Perfect. treatment, I wouldn't be here. Why? Hi. That is exactly what I've been doing. Not my place to doll out punishment. Not even against myself. All right, you made your point. If Esther offers to treat me, I won't take her at least. Everybody deserves healing and medication. Where are we headed? You mean, you mean why I'm not allowed in the store anymore? anymore? Yeah. There was a, a kind of a thing, thing with a vending, vending machine, machine when I was 12. Sure, sure but that. folks got long, long memories around here. I've always been good with my hands, right? So oh. I saw a lock on the machine and thought, <laughs> oh, this must be how they refill it. But I had to know. So I did my thing. And next thing I know, there's a couple hundred bottles of zero G rolling out the front door and into the road. Nice. It's not That's funny. funny. Right about, about then, that, a bunch of loaders came rolling in the gate, fresh off the saltuna ships. And Mr. Thompson, Thompson was up on the porch the making a speech about how everyone would have to volunteer a third shift to get it all canned. Anyhow, you ever seen an auto loader run over a bottle of zero G? Exploded all over Mr. Thompson. One bottle after another as the loaders went by. I was just shy of working age, so Dad had to pay all the damages. Moreau's still angry at me. I can laugh about it now, but I just about puked up my guts in terror in the moment. That's the one time I ever made Mr. Thompson look a fool. Okay. Where are we headed? Uh, he deserves it. Uh... Bob's and dick. Not steal. You have some morals. Not many, but some. <sighs> Go to the cantina for a bit. You're not a big drinker, are you? No. Plague, Plague got, got you feeling woozy? Get yourself boozy with Spacer's Choice. Boy. Go ahead. Suppose I did. Ready to talk about it? What's there to figure out? Stands to reason you work for a company. You ain't Spacer's choice. Could be you're with Auntie Cleo. 
Sure. Don't see what a Cleo worker's doing in spacer country. Trying to eyeball the competition, are we? Well, good luck trying to figure yourself out. Sounds like you'll need it. Coming right up. Dunk. 21% dip. I can't, and I can't even notice. The rake! Like a normal rake, only smaller and with claws. No. I have two grenades on. Else on the left. That work. Tarmac and cheese. It's not real tarmac. Or real cheese. I have a lot of money. Rations yet? Yep. Uh -huh. Two whole cans of salt tuna. What do you have for? Miss Holcomb ain't allowed in this establishment. Not since that little incident. I realize that company still has not sent us the necessary parts to conduct repairs, and so no thanks to Miss Holcomb, yonder vending machine remains in all. I won't touch anything while we're in here, Mr. Moreau. I promise. Go right, right ahead. ahead. What, what, you mean Edgewater? Water? That's a That's peculiar, peculiar question. question. This is a test. test. Am I being, I being tested, tested right now? now? It's, uh, fine and dandy. dandy. Couldn't, Couldn't be happier. Be happier. Wouldn't, Wouldn't want to spend want. my life working <laughs> anywhere else. Prettiest little town yeah. on Terra 2. <laughs> the plaster on my ass is prettier than Edgewater. Uh, if loving, if the, loving the place I work makes me crazy, crazy, then haul me off for mandatory re-education. I don't get paid for banter. Was there something, something you needed? needed? Go right, right ahead. ahead. Other, Other than, than yourself? yourself? Definitely, Definitely the vicar. Don't get okay. me wrong. He seems a decent man. Cut from That's church cloth. Knows his Oops. scriptures. But there's something about him that bothers me. Like he's not one of us. Sometimes I suspect he doesn't even want to be here. Amelia. Amelia. Definitely yeah. Amelia Kemp. I advise against stepping foot in her drinking establishment altogether. altogether. Word is, they're going to replace her with an auto-mechanical bar key. She's, what's the word? Obsolete. You don't want to associate yourself with that kind of person. Plague. I don't know anything about a plague. We are the very picture of hot-blooded physical vigor. You have got the wrong idea about me. I've got nothing that needs hiding. Some of us who get sick are liable to exaggerate the conditions of that sickness, but... The fact, fact is, is, if you work hard, survival, survival of the fittest. The fittest. It ain't it just the law of nature, nature. Oh. it's company oh. policy. Oh. Medical, medical treatment is commensurate with our value to society. Then the hand, hand of medical, medical science will not, not grace you with its touch, and, away, and you must recover on the virtue of your own grit. Listen, you mind if we talk about something else? Rambling about company policy gets me feeling all lightheaded. I hate you, vending machine. Tina. 
Let's go over. Almost lost a finger in the cannery today. Yeah, I've never actually, yeah. actually been in here. Yeah. Seemed scary from the outside. Something to report? Nope. This is where the magic, where the magic happens? happens? Well, well science. science. But, it but it still, still happens. happens here. Hey, that's, that's, I mean, if you need, if you need it. it. Okay. Where are we headed? In the bar? When I, when I sorry. sorry. I know, I know it's it. none of my business. Strong, Strong drink, drink makes me sick. And it makes me it's real sick. sad. I start thinking about things I oughtn't, and then... Well, well never mind that. You got, got better, better things, things to think on. Sorry. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said anything. Hey. All right. Definitely. Oh, I can keep tinkering them. I didn't notice. Just cost progressively. That makes sense. A plasma weapon? Sure. I had more. Okay, it's just only for ah. Yes, I can make it less noisy. It's a grenade bomb. None of them are actually good. What? Just repair everything. Use all my parts. Why did I not notice? Well, totally looks like a hang. Thing. Wayne, do you have anything to say? About This is the one that's a nice house. Okay. 
If you're hungry, I could open up a can of something. Oh, honey. My dad's... My dad. It's an office. Just my office. Closing this while I rob you blind. Oh, wow. Oh, you like flowers? I can't find many kinds around here. Plants. Very pretty plant. Going to just do that. If you need to go, I'll oh, wait outside. I don't like coming out here. People on the street stare. Okay, let's get out of here. What are my quests right? My quests. Well, let's do the silly things. The Fraser Brothers of Hammersmith Thunder. Oh, of the Hammersmith. All of these early? I did. Hope so. I keep holding down the shift button. Dang it. This area was where they building house. I had to stop. Junkyard. Ah, he ain't no threat. Bet I could fix him up smart. Searching for a repair bay. Error. Navigation systems failed. Unable to comply. I could probably fix that. I mean, if you oh. wanted to. Not quite high enough. Damn. Oh, yep, I see the problem. His nav mod got dislodged. Must have taken a tumble. Just gotta give it a good push and wait for the click. There we go. Jeremy's good as new. Well, new by Spacer's Choice standards, anyhow. His name's Jeremy, by the by. Navigation systems operational. Optimal path toward repair bay detected. Initiating self diagnostics. Everybody, why'd you name the mechanical? On account of I fixed him. And he's Jeremy on account of his helmet. It's, it's like, like Jeremy, Jeremy, the officer in True Romantic Tales yeah, of the Space Guard. Absolutely. Hebs Hebs Shirley. Shirley. I make, I a, make point a point to watch every Tuesday night. Be more careful out there, Jeremy. Self-diagnostics initiated. Please do not disturb. Now it says Jeremy. Aww. Self-diagnostics initiated. Where are we headed? Repaired? Like you repaired Jeremy. Or are you now following Parvati? Jeremy? Assuming they're not gonna like me, but I might be able to lie. Lying's helpful. So I'm noticing that I need to be a lot more specialized in. Pr 
bring us honor, soldier. You beat that scout to scrap with its own legs? Pulled its optic cables out of its headcase? I'm just going to repair all of the automatons. You're a passing fair soldier, I will confess. But you are one. And the enemy is legion. What you need is an equalizer. Secret weapon. A weapon to strike fear in their cold okay. mechanical hearts. Are your Cantina Lavatory. Behind one of the toilets. Sharp, ain't it? On the double soldier. All right. Yeah, huh? Keep trying to hit escape. Anyway, I guess we're going to go get a weapon in the toilet. Can I get this? Yes. I don't think I went in here. No, I did not. Let's go in. Get these. Nice. I might start running out of those stun thingies. Or not stun thingies. Uh, whatever it took. Forest worst. The worst and less of it's forest worst. Thinking. Huh? Do 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 do. I appreciate what you've done, but we shouldn't do Where are we Where headed? Remind me of the random um, people talking in. At least they don't knock everywhere. All right, Ludwig. Bring us honor, soldier. Feast your eyes, soldier. This here is a genuine spacer's choice injury customizing unit. Designed to deliver a lethal End blast of the of electrical law. discharge. I call it the hand of the law. You ever want to see a mechanical flailing around like a grounded fish? You stick a couple thousand bolts in its guts. With compliments from old Ludwig. There's a workbench right through this door. Attach that unit to your favorite weapon and go forth into glorious battle. Gotcha. Time's come for you to journey down into the black heart of the enemy's camp. The old geothermal plant. I'm talking about the old geothermal plant. Unfortunately, the old plant lies outside my board-given jurisdiction. Matter of fact, I already have it. You'll need to get a passcode from the boss. We... I need you to get us the brain of a mechanical. Well, not exactly a brain. And it... Don't tell anyone, all right? I've got a contact. A real, a real expert in the inner workings of the automaton. Well, excuse me. What I meant was I'm going to get a... There's the rub. If a mechanical breaks down, the logic module fries. So you can't rip one out of its corpse. I don't reckon so. I work with gears and pistons and such. Stuff you can put hands to. Oh, you're a mechanic, not a computer person. You know, oh, she names the mechanicals she fixes, calls them Bess and Clancy and so on. If you die horribly, I will pour out a can of zero G. Hey, we're creepy. Yeah, huh? All right, next thing on our quest list. Because Die Robot is 
way out in the same place as the power area. Is that? Go to the mechanical lab. How far away are those? One's not. Yeah, let's do that one. Just full of digits. I'll actually go up the correct route. Not if I've been. doors, though. They're not real houses. Fakes! It is a fake! I'm sorry. I'm trying to see why I don't normally do this type of thing with the style of game. I don't talk as much, and I don't know what to say. They're dead. Oh. Everyone all right? That one's dead. Slow down? Slow down. This is definitely my most effective weapon. That must be the geothermal. Save first. Right? Yeah, they are. And I wish I had like a sniper rifle. What I was expecting long guns to be, but ooh. Okay. Try this this way. I'm first. ready for this. First one. puppy rifle. That's a new weapon. Probably like a garbage weapon. No? Mr. Ouch. Why not? 
Dang, that's yeah. impressive. Take a look at that. That's really low. It does have really long range, though. Okay, that's better. I'll accept that. That's one. Now, where are the other two from relative to me? Uh, the other two were going to be faster for me. I'm going to. I gotta do all the side quests, right? You're closer. Puppies left. Oh, this is the geothermal. Okay. Not where I want to go. Up up it is. I have to go up and around. I would have gone after the other one. I don't think I can. One's mine. Okay, I guess I'll go with the, this way after all. Oh, where I need to go anyway. Move along, stranger. We don't want any trouble. I don't want any trouble either. I'm hitting the wrong button to put away my gun. There we go. I don't know you. you don't. Whatever you're looking for, it ain't here. Move along. Armed strangers wandering into my camp for one. Some of my camp wandering out for another. Got anything in you besides questions? No, I'm sorry. That was unworthy of me. Lady named Zoe went missing some nights ago. Just up and vanished without a trace. Now I'm pacing around wondering if marauders got to her. It's not like Zoe to go wandering. Figured she might be out scavenging, but that ain't exactly her talent. Can't imagine where she's gone. Vale's a wide place. She could be anywhere. Appreciate it. Honest. I'll tell you what I can. Well, enough to know we never got on. Zoe and Stefan were close. If anybody knows the workings of her mind, he does. Vex me. If she told anybody, they ain't telling me. I'd check her room, but I got yelled at for snooping a little ways ago. She was always obsessing over... What is it? Over in the hothouse, tending crop. 
This is a nicer town. Hmm. You hungry? We got canid ribs, canid flank, canid snout too. Something I can help you with? You mean Zoe? Yeah, we were pretty close. Not like her to go loping off. Zoe and I were gonna watch the cereals, as is our custom. She never turned up. I looked around, but she was nowhere to be found. You sound like some type of corporate fixer asking all these questions. Zoe was always obsessed with this cereal, Mass Marketeer. A scion of Byzantium turns to banditry and teaches his marauder companions the wisdom of free market economics. Uh, Shame she up and vanished when she did. I had a surprise lined up for her. The other day I got my hands on a genuine copy of the latest masked marketeer. I was going to surprise Zoe with it, but she was gone the next day. Can't say I recall Zoe ever acting strange. Well, except for her habit of writing things down on scraps of paper. Right, gonna go look her. She called it journaling, but I think it's just plain. Hey, I got time. Fresh off the limb, and that includes canid meat. Lovely. Got a beanie, a spacer's choice beanie. And cannot purchase this restricted stock. I mean, I can't afford it for one. Definitely have canid meat. If you're hungry, Steffi's got supplies. Over here. Where are we headed? That's stealing. I want to steal from them yet. They haven't proven to be dicks yet. That's it then. No more edge water for me. No more cannery. No more jumpsuits. Gloves. Yes, ma'ams. And would you like another's? Writing this down for posterity's sake. I've always hated the king. I don't think I'll ever look back in the journal many years hence and tell myself, oh wow, I did really hate the veil once, didn't I? It's because I got sick. Everybody gets sick. Okay, I got sick and grabbed a little too much adrenaline. Is that really a crime? I treat myself when I'm sick, don't I? Never happened to personal responsibility, surviving by one's own bootstraps. Oh, but you misappropriate one box of Adrena time and suddenly you're committing larceny. Toilet. Bed. Cubby. Terror on Monarch. Well, today's the day, Zoe. Today's the day you're going to take your destiny into your own hands. Listening to Grace talk about the Marauder Threat. Bands of wild, free-spirited bandits living in camps out in the hills, warming themselves up by the light of the barrel fires. Probably mounted the heads of their enemies on spikes as a warning to folk like me. Living a life of comfort and ease, free of any rules. Bet they could take out the whole region if they were organized. Tucking away a little some of Adelaide's. Got some spare cans of salt tuna. It'd last me a couple weeks if I ration. Got some Drina time too. Everyone loves it. Even Marauders, right? Got odds those Marauders will let me throw in with them if I dangle a couple of syringes of Adrena time before their eyes. It'll be great. Look out, Terra 2. Bandit Queen Zoe's origin story has just begun. Got a whole gang of Marauders at my beck and call. Maybe I'll even score some Rita Rizzos. Yep. So she went out to go join the bandits.
Not stealing from them yet. Fancy. Look like giant vacuum tubes. Yeah, huh? If you're hungry, there's meat turning on the spit outside. If you're barren illness, find a place to lay your head down and I'll fetch you a poultice. Whatever your troubles with Edgewater, leave them at the gates and be welcomed here. Any questions, dear? I have been called that, among other things. Green Thumb, Grandmother. The strange old lady who keeps flowers. I like her so far. But yes, Adelaide will do just fine. Excuse me, Miss McDevitt? Sorry, it's just... You got such pretty trees in here. Why, thank you. You're Robert's girl, aren't you? I remember when you were but a sprout. Thomas speaks of you well, often. They know each other. Are you staying long? You should try some of my tobacco tea. I brew it in an old spittoon, but it's been cleaned. Yeah, at least cleaned it. No, dear. The garden belongs to us all. Life is the gift of the universe. Yep, can I throw in with the them? The universe yields its bounty equally, absent of prejudice. The soil around the Vale went sour years ago, but I found a way to sweeten it back up. The secret recipe is a little bit of elbow grease, a dash of love, and a heaping pile of special fertilizer. A home for anyone who's ever turned their backs on Edgewater. A home for those of us with nowhere left to go and nothing to lose. So like the spores of the puffball, cast on the wind and alighting on fresh soil, we put down new roots. It is an unpleasant story, dear. But the short of it is that Sometimes one wakes up and realizes the place that was once her home for much of her life has changed. The home in which we spent our lives has left us behind, and so we must move on. <sighs> and that is as much as I will say on the subject. Good conversation. Quick save. Now talk. I'm listening. But I have more. That's not strange at all, dear. Few of us truly know where we are. The world can seem like a forest without end. And it is all too easy to lose one's way. But we must remember that being lost is the first step <laughs> in discovering yourself. Oh, Glad I could help, dear. A sadness of the heart brings sickness upon the whole body. Are you not feeling well? Ought to lay your head down if you're running fever. That sounds, sounds like, like fever talk, talk, all right. So why am I tempted to believe you? Where did you say you were from? Is that a new settlement of some kind? I haven't kept news from outside the veil. Oh, you're talking about that old piece of folklore. Now I'm convinced you're delirious. You really ought to lay your head uh... down here. Babbling only agitates the humors. You ought to try some of my purgative tea. Won't? Well, maybe I do. I don't know yet. Growing up, I heard my folks talking about the hope. Always believed it was just a story we told ourselves to keep our spirits up. Listen, don't you worry about what I think. That's not important. Worry about what the board thinks of you going around talking about lost ships from day Why? you carry on about coming here from another world and people will talk talk no but the board may have reason to fear you yeah. i'm listening yeah. reed thompson you here yeah. on behalf of that cold-eyed reptile let's hear it what's reed's idea of peace then that was really weird. i can't say i blame you Reed is positively soporific. Like everything else that comes out of Edgewater, that peace offering is canned. I and my own are living just fine out here by ourselves. 
Yeah. He would do such a thing. The question is, why would you agree to his plans? Cannery's got a regulator. You want chip parts, you ought to rip them out of the cannery's guts and leave us. That free. sounds better. If you're going down to the plant, you should divert power away from Edgewater and toward our end of the grid. Think about it. You'd be liberating an entire town from a lifetime of service. Well, I am playing the socialist. Ah. Seems the sort of thing a hero would do. Yeah, we can. Yeah. You've seen that miserable excuse for a town with your own lamps. Hollowed out workers laboring their lives away at the cannery, living off whatever scrap spacer's choice throws them. You know that's true, don't you, Ms. Holcomb? Your father died of overwork. Oh. His heart gave out. He, he was tired all the time, sure, but he was old, ma'am, and he raised me all by his lonesome. Look what they did to this child. Lost her family to the company, and still she defends them. Yeah, I don't like you. I'm all right. I ain't so fragile. That was unkind of me. I'm sorry, dear. Yeah, I'll help you. What happens to Edgewater? Life in Edgewater grinds to a halt. The cannery shuts down. Workers desert in droves. And our own little camp grows and thrives. You bring power to Reed's town and you'll be killing us. Reed knows it. He's counting on it. Huh? I trust you will listen to your conscience. All right, that. I don't know why in the world I would agree to help anybody but the kind. Oh, that's Socialist. Thomas. He used to follow me around before he left the cannery. Go talk to him. Hey, wait, first. You have anything to talk Somebody about? Need? No. Oh, ah, uh, didn't see you there. I was, uh, well, I was just talking yeah, like myself eyes. with a little engineering. Whoa, huh. Miss Parvati. <laughs> hey, you're, uh, what, um, how, how are you? Hi, hi, hi. Uh, hello. Are you, uh, uh, are things safe out here? How are you keeping? Great, just great. I've been trying to keep stuff running, just like you. Only I'm not so... Wait, they didn't kick you out, did they? Oh, gosh, no. I I'm just along with this lady here. Are you from town? Uh, I mean, you don't exactly look like you're from yeah, town. Yeah, I'll definitely take that as a compliment. Well, what I meant was you're reasonably well-armed and don't look stricken with plague. Okay, yeah, that's also fair. Sorry, I just wasn't sure if you were from town or if you were one of us. Something's been chewing ah, at me, more see. side quests. Fact is, I've been, well, lying to everybody here. Camp thinks I'm a mechanical genius, but I couldn't fix a busted chair. Oh, I can help a little. I'll take all the help I can get. I set my mind to learning the craft of the engineer, you see. I want to make something of myself. You ever heard of the young space uh, guy to mechanical engineering? This is where they're Comes coming. Comes in a set of three. If I had my hands on one of those data pads... I could teach myself three. the ins and outs. Those are good. My dad kept a copy with him when he was working in the cannery. I know the old community center kept a copy. Should find another one back in town. If you could find me even one of those well, pads, I already I'd have one. Obliged. No kidding. Really? Well, which one? Part one? Look at that. Building a computing machine out of Spectrum potatoes, a primer. <laughs> I'm just glad but... I survived all these years. I appreciate you going through all that trouble. In fact, I put aside something special on the off chance that somebody would search out those data pads for me. I've got another Don't one. Don't keep me in suspense. Ain't that just ironical. If I'd worked a little longer back at the cannery, I might have found this myself. Two whole data pads? Be still my beating heart. Oh, or wrapping I forgot your payment. Sure. I'd be glad to take them off your now hands. Now agreeable. What's on your mind? Couple months. This camp's my home. People you see milling about? They're my Yeah, family. I like this place a lot better than them, Capitalism right? Ho. I owe them my life. We all left the cannery for one reason or another. Me? I was let go. Mostly on account of my incompetence. 
I mean, I was Whoa. incompetent. I couldn't even survive on my own. Grace found me, Adelaide took me in, I've been on my feet ever since. You weren't incompetent. You just didn't fit the cannery. Not like here. This place had a U-shaped hole, and now it doesn't. You could stay, you know. Here. I'd be happy to... I mean, uh, we could really use... Uh, oh, this isn't coming out right. Uh, if you want, Adelaide would make a place for you. I like him. I like this place. This is more my stuff. gone through that nor have I gone upstairs. People are nice. Still from the nice people. I mean, think about it. They offered me a home. Or not home, but close this because I'm really curious about what's behind this door. Wish I could do that. And I know I just said I wasn't going to steal from this place, but I really do. Besides, I used a lockpick for that. Nanners. I'll steal ammo though. Fun. Yay, I didn't take damage this time. Getting used to the falling distance. Woo! I do like how it's visible what things I can happen to hand. He has it. Hugging. So, uh, are we? Oh, there's been. Okay, uh, my new sniper right.
Yeah, huh? Yeah, he likes you. He's just interested in fixing stuff. He always used to follow me around, asking me to explain uh, what I was yeah. doing. Yeah. Like <laughs> mm. Thomas always listened to me. Never said I was odd. Never tried to... I just want to think of him like that. If he wants to learn about engineering, we should help him get those data pads he wants. I really need to get my perception up higher. Which I could actually do right now. It just dawned on me. Perception. Er. What is perception under anyway? Yeah, huh? Hmm. Is persuasion not perception? That let's just bump this. Why? Or perks. Alright. You have a companion now. Precision's not a terrible idea. Actually, let's go ahead and get more. Okay. That works. So I'll reload. We have two tails. I kind of want to know. Easy. That's the entire camp that I just woke up. Means. Everyone all right? Everybody's okay. Finger that I needed. Split the jet. Very full. No. I don't know anybody who ever came out this far. Nice. How do I get feel? Come out and play. Stand and deliver. Always Come wanted to on. say that. Wow, you 
crossed them all off, like some sort of heroic accountant running down a list. Oh boy. Teach me your ways. What? You mean Adelaide's little congregation of nature-loving nobodies? I could not possibly be less interested in them. You, on the other hand, you were a sight to behold. If I had half your skills, I'd be the greatest... Why? Adelaide wants me back on garden duty or something? Thanks, but I'm not going anywhere. This is where I belong. I doubt that. Nobody in that camp really cared about me. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Also, he could carry on a conversation. Unlike these hooligans. I'll take my stuff and head on back, I suppose. Grace is gonna be glaring knives at me. I'm great at clarifying. Uh, no? I insinuated myself into their company, see? I may have farted them a few boxes of Adrena time, but I don't know. The vital processes that constitute the miracle of life are mysterious and unknowable. Uh... Oh, you mean around these guys? The Marauders wouldn't hurt me. They love me. I'm practically their queen. I got kicked out of Edgewater on account of falling sick with plague and stealing some medicine to treat myself. I'd heard some outlaws set up camp in the botanical labs. I decided to throw in with them, seeing as I always wanted to be an outlaw myself. Instead, what do I find? But a bunch of former workers camped out of... I've got all the time in Halcyon. This one's actually a difficult hey, one. Nicely done. Regulation. What do you think you're doing? I don't have time for this. Really? That counted as dealing the beast in the bandit camp. Any explosive? Ooh, I can jump up high. That probably means there's... Or it's just a good sniper. Well, drat. Ow. I mean, do that. Look, I already bought what you were selling me. Just give me some time to gather up my personals. West am I currently on? Kind of lost track.
Okay. The digits are up. Alright, where is the actually? Cool. Be over in the cemetery. First, back. The chicken. No chicken. Dan. Dan. Grace. Grace. Zoe says she fought her way out of a marauder camp with her own bare hands. Aha. Uh -huh. That's right, Grace is toward the front. What is it? We didn't always get along, but I'm glad to know she's safe. What happened anyway? Zoe joined up with a band of marauders. Zoe, the same Zoe who doesn't know a barrel from a trigger. Well. Well, I've heard stranger well, things. Uh, you pretty much did my job for me. Least I could do is pay you for your trouble. Sure, I'll take money. Let me know if I can do something for you. Mostly did it for me. All about that. All right. Power stuff. But all th top three are all geothermal power plant. Don't know. Uh, well, there's one there. Down? Really? Okay. Let's say my reputation decreased. What happened? Reputation. Revering. Ooh, wow. 82%. Best employee ever. When to stay that way, I think. Okay. I've gained Bolter's pistol? What? Yeah, huh? Uh, what? <laughs> what the heck? Why did I get... Okay. Probably shouldn't complain. I'm just confused. That's all. Oh, um, trade. Yeah, I have stuff to sell. Something I can help you with? Fresh off the limb, and that includes canid meat. They're friendly here. Yeah, thirty-four percent discount. Hold on. Hold on. Ooh, I can pay money to repair.
I'm supposed to do with someone. I can I don't really need a pistol is the problem. Another special thing on the other hand. Don't understand N ray damage yet, so I'm not. Alright. Done so. Well. How oh, me. Another door? Another door, really? Height-wise, because I seem to remember I needed to go height higher. Up there? Nope. I cannot. Ow. Ow. Ooh, I'm already... Oh, it's actually rather laid out. Currently rather late. That's not probably good at beds. And run. I know that was a probably take. It's around the geothermal plant. Oh. No. 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 Plant C boo from your. Did all of the work this time. Reload. Might be able to do this.
three of them total. Five of them total. That's fair. We got them all. <laughs> that worked. I don't think that's quite what I was planning on initially, but you know, whatever. It worked. They've incinerated some people. Not a very good special item. Honey, give you a better weapon. This hammer hits things real good. Like it, Mike. Seven armor. Passive, defensive, and aggressive. Correct. Actually sounds good. Okay. Well, I'm on fire. I'm on fire again. I felt like it. Anything else in this? Okay. A oh, of damage number. Ah, okay. Neat. Like it. It's no flat weapon, but you know, I like it. It's just not getting used. I mean, my hunting rifle is kind of crappy damage, but it has really long range. Helps. Okay. Last one is back in Edgewater. Might as well finish this up, and I know I've already said that. Okay. The last one isn't in Edgewater. This is just where I'm returning. Wish we had some better rations. We should keep our voices down. Something to report? We pay by the finger. What do you have for me? Gil Antrim. Real name, Guillaume. Duly processed by a freelancer on behalf of Spacer's Choice. I remember him. I was just a kid last I saw him. Shame. Shame. I'll just need your signature here, here. Here, here, and here. Got any more fingers for me? Mabel Burgess, age 37, 
right for? or left-handed? Let's, Let's just say no longer applicable. Longer applicable. I remember oh, yeah. Dr. Burgess conducted my physical every fiscal quarter. quarter. Guess she couldn't keep her hands off her patient's medicine. Still one outstanding bounty. If you've got a fix, here we are. Birdie Cotton. Cause of death. Let's just say overwhelming physical trauma. Yeah, that's fair. Bert was the local preacher before Max took over. Ah. He always was quick to remind us that we all get what we deserve in the end. Well, that's all three. I must remember to requisition some more fingerprint ink. Here's all the compensation you've earned, plus a bonus. And Spacer's Choice now loves me. Well, they're going to hate me pretty soon. And I am now a junior deps deputy constable. You've done such a bang-up job hunting down our former workers that I thought it only proper to deputize you. Congratulations. Let me stop you there. It is official Spacer's Choice policy that all Marauders, regardless of prior affiliation to the Spacer's Choice brand, no longer qualify as our people. Marauders are folk who lost the will to keep working, wandered out into the wilds and gave into their baser instincts. Not everyone's cut out to work in Edgewater. Some turn deserter, some turn marauder. None of them get my sympathy. Everybody likes Adrena time. Everybody it is the finest likes medical drug ever developed by Spacer's Choice. Much better than that crap anti-Cleo <sighs> petals. Sure, a little too much Adrena time can bring out the violent animal in you, but if overdosing on Adrena time turns you into a lunatic, you have only yourself to blame. Says so right on the warning label. Violent psychosis is a well-documented and legally accounted for side effect of Adrena time. What's on your mind? As um, long as your questions fall within the... If this is a setup to a joke, you should know I've never found anything amusing in my life. I don't serve Edgewater. Edgewater and the entire region of Emerald Vale serves Spacer's Choice. Spacer's Choice is a wholly owned subsidiary of Universal Defense Logistics, which occupies a seat on the Halcyon Holdings Corporation. Ah, that's the board also known as the board. To. Yep. And I must admit it bothers me that you don't already know this. Flattery won't get you anywhere with me. The bureaucracy is a noble profession, but not all of us. Something to report. Right. That's it. Okay. My reputation with them should be the awesome now. Yep. They're both revering. Although Spacer's Choice loves me slightly more right now. But I have no intention of doing that. I have every intention on going with the deserters. Open bounties. None. Closed bounties. All of them. Wait. Friend of mine died a couple weeks back. Licensed practice of medicine. Nothing I can do about that. Anyway, we're done for now. I'm gonna go ahead and save, and we'll just stop here. Hope you've enjoyed that internet and talk to you next.